In this video, I'm going to show you how to connect to one of our standalone systems. So first, you locate the SSID for the router that you have. In this case, this order is getting a router from us, and the SSID is the one that's showing up here, ending in 841. So in my Wi-Fi settings on my phone, I did a search for local SSIDs, and I'm going to select that one, and I'm going to make a connection to my SSID and enter the password, which I'm doing now. So this is a real world demonstration of how we set up pre-configured systems that are purchased from us and how to connect to them once you receive them. So I entered my SSID password. This would be the password that we would provide you. Just press OK if you're getting some notifications. So now I connect it to my router and it says no internet connection on purpose because I am not using it for internet access. I'm just using it to connect. So once you connect to it, I'm now going to show you the setup I have. So I'm going to go into landscape mode. Hopefully you can see this. I have a router plugged in to power, hardwired. One cable coming out of the back of the router from the, one of the yellow ports, doesn't matter which one, going into the NIC port on the back of the NVR. Not the PoE, but the NIC port. And then these two are cable lines coming in from the cameras. This is the power supply for the NVR going into my surge suppressor 110 outlet. And then I have an HDMI cable connected to my monitor showing me my cameras. And I, of course, have a USB mouse. So what this is to, meant to show you is how you can set up a standalone system with one of our NVRs with PoE cameras. These cameras just use Ethernet cable. I've got this really advanced camera here. It has a motorized zoom lens. It's a license plate camera and a regular 4 megapixels fixed lens camera feeding through PoE lines. NVR gets the video, displays it on the monitor, and then here the router is plugged into the NVR's LAN port to make the NVR wireless so I can connect to it using my phone, tablet, or laptop. You can do this setup inside of a um, outdoor enclosure even and be able to just walk up to the enclosure, connect to the Wi-Fi of this router, just like I just connected to the Wi-Fi connection on the router, and then tap into the recorder and watch the cameras. So that's where I'm going to show you now. So I've already done the step of connecting to the Wi-Fi that's being emitted by this router. Now I'm going to show you how to connect to this recorder. In my configuration document for this recorder, it shows me what is the IP address of this recorder and the username and the password. So now I'm going to show you how to connect to it. So the first thing you want to do is download our app. That's the name of the app, DMSS. Make sure you download that for this application. If you're following this video for one of our other systems that uses a different app, please download that that we uh, point out in the description we send you. But for this setup, we're doing our main app called DMSS. I'm going to click on that and I'm going to add a device. So now I already know I'm connected to the Wi-Fi I want to be. So I'm going to press on the plus button on the top right hand side and press IP domain. Select NVR. Make sure you select NVR, not DVR, not wired camera wireless, NVR. That's the third one here on the screen. First connect to the Wi-Fi, then you connect to the DVR or NVR, actually in this case the NVR, which I just did by selecting NVR and put in the information. If you have a DVR or XVR, select that. So again, NVR, add mode is IP domain, port, you leave it alone. Hopefully you haven't changed any settings on the NVR we sent to you and type in the IP address. That IP address on the piece of paper I just showed you was 192.168.1.108. Device name, you can name this anything you want. My NVR. Username is admin and the password. This is a password we set on it when we shipped it to you. It's on that piece of paper. It's also located on top of the NVR. 
Once you're done, hit save. And now it's connected to the cameras. It's showing me two screens of uh, two quadrants of um, two cameras connected and two blank quadrants. That's just because I only have two cameras on there. You can hold, and swipe up, hold, and swipe up to get rid of those channels. So now you can see my hand waving through one of the cameras and now the other. And that's how you connect to the cameras. Pretty simple. With this particular camera, it even has a zoom lens. You can actually toggle it if you want it by going into the PTZ function like I just did. It is not a pan tilt zoom camera. It is just a motorized zoom, so it only does plus and minus. It's actual optical zoom where it's moving in and out, the lens. It doesn't do left or right, up and down. If you had a PTZ camera from us, you could certainly do that as well. But there are lots of different uh, things you could do here. This concludes our tutorial on how to set up a standalone NVR with Wi-Fi where you don't even have internet and how to connect to that Wi-Fi router and then access the NVR. If you have internet, just plug it in into the blue connection on our ASUS router here, and then you can watch those cameras from anywhere in the world. Thank you for watching.